What's poppin' y'all? Check out the SSS Exploring All the Fire Things in Life. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week's video, we're gonna have so much fun. I am going to the annual wine and food show in London, Ontario right now. I'm on my way, gonna pick up one of my friends and we are gonna make our way to the show. And of course, I'm bringing you guys with me, okay? If you're interested in watching this video and doing some wine tasting and eating some good food, make sure you don't go nowhere. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to see more videos from me, your girl, okay? And don't forget to hit that like button so other viewers can reach videos like this. Let's go to this annual wine show. Guys, I'm finally here at the wine and food show. I got my wine glass ready to taste some wine. I'm so excited, it's my first time here. Guess who I finally picked up after so long? Five years of planning, girls. <laughs> and we're gonna drink some wine, and of course, you guys are gonna come with me. I'm so excited, okay, let's do this. Guys, we just got our tickets. We are on our way in. It's gonna be All right guys, I am back home, safe and sound. I arrived home safe. The annual London wine and food show was a success. It was my first time going. I am amazed 
at the experience. Um, me and my friend had an amazing time. It was so much fun and it's definitely somewhere I would go back again. Um, from what I know, it's a two day event. For, so there's one for today, Friday, and one for tomorrow. And amazing, amazing. So just a couple of things. So the event started at six o'clock, six to 11. We got there around eight o'clock. The event does not take cash. You have to buy like drink tickets kind of thing. So we bought 30 tickets for $30 each. So $60 in total. And honestly, by towards the end of the night, like around 10 o'clock, we like, I personally still had like 15 tickets left. So basically we could have spent $30 for the both of us. And by the end of the night, the tickets will just be enough, right? If you're going early, like around five o'clock, like when, or five or six o'clock when it starts, then obviously 30 tickets for $30 will make sense. But be mindful, like a lot of the vendors and that we went to, and mind you, there's many different companies of different wines, different handcrafted beverages, beer, it was so much. You guys saw the footage and all of them, like, the tickets were like either two, it was either two tickets, so one ticket equals one dollar. Obviously it makes sense, 30 tickets for $30. So a lot of them were like two tickets or three tickets, nothing above that. I don't remember spending four tickets for a drink, but mind you, I never went to every tent that was there. And to me, 30 tickets was more than enough. The food, however, did cost like about $5, $6, around five, tickets six tickets which is like five six dollars and it's like little like you guys saw it it's like little meals like little finger foods right like to me not worth the price but because we're there we were hungry so a lot of the tickets a lot of the tickets toward the end got spent on food but personally especially if you're not going to come on time and you are going to come like later it's just not worth 30 tickets like i said we got there by 8 p.m and we bought 30 tickets each and we still towards almost closing time still had 15 tickets and kind of had to rush to buy more drinks and buy food to get rid of all tickets so that we don't get left with none but i have one for souvenir purposes hang on let me show you so see one ticket y'all yeah, see that right here so y'all can pretty much see that like obviously one ticket means one dollar right um what else is there to say I will say, whew, if you are driving or a designated driver and you want to enjoy yourself and you're a person that doesn't really drink a lot, do take an Uber. Be on the safe side. Take an Uber, take a taxi so you can have fun and you can enjoy yourself with, with your friends or with your boo thing and reach home, get there safe and reach home safe. For me, like because we got there so late at eight o'clock, not late, like a good time, I would say, honestly, it was filled and, I, and it was snowing. It was snowing, it was a lot of snow, slush. The roads were a mess and to me, I thought, okay, not much people were gonna be there. Honey, it was filled with so much people. We had to park so far and walk so far to get to the event because it was so full. So if you're a person that likes to be up close and personal, like right near the event, you might wanna come on time. But like, as I said, be mindful because you are drinking, you are eating. Um, not that you have to drink, but if you are enjoying your time with your friend, like at towards the end, me and my friend got a little buzz, but it was all good. So the admission tickets were $20 each, plus tax, plus, you have to pay for your drink and food ticket because they for unfortunately they don't take cash. They take either credit or debit or if you can buy these tickets. And I did see, I know you don't have to buy 30. I did see a stand where you can buy 10 tickets for $10. So it's all good. Also, when you arrive at the event, you go, you grab your tickets, you do your thing. And there is a spot where they'll give you this wine glass. It says London, the London Wine and Food Show. They give you this glass that you can take home as a souvenir. You guys know me, I love my souvenirs. I don't play around with my souvenirs. So you get to walk around with this cup. They have a wash station where you can wash out. If you finish your drink, you can wash it out and pour and buy some more wine or handcrafted beverage. It was really nice. So one thing that I did like about this event, so you know when you go to restaurants or you go to like a wine tasting event, when you're going to a wine tasting, like 
for me, I've been to what, many wine tasting, um, not events, but like wineries, and they always give you like maybe one to two ounces of each wine. This event pours up to like four ounces. You guys can't really see that, but there's ounces written on it. There's one ounce, two ounce, and the four ounces right here. See that? I don't want to drop my glass because it's my souvenir, but it's like right up here where this, where my thumb is. Like that's a big glass. So each vendor, I don't want to call it vendor, but each person, each company that we went to and spent two or three tickets were giving us four ounce glasses of wine, of handcrafted beverage, of beer. But like each time you go, it's like four ounces. So be mindful, you're drinking a good, like a good tall glass of, of liquor. Where my thumb is, like that, right? So yeah, it was fun, it was fun and I really enjoyed it. Something I'll definitely go to again. So that is the end of my vlog. I just wanna shout out to my girl Kim for joining me. We have been planning to get together for years. I've known this girl for years. We've been planning to get together. For, we were planning to get get together for years, but because our schedules never met, like it never matched, it just we were just we just couldn't. But we finally, after so long of knowing each other, we knew each other for about ten years. No, no, more than ten years. Like a little, a little bit over 10 years, we finally got the opportunity to get together and do something fun. She had a good time, I had a good time. Of course, of course there are pictures for proof and there are photo opportunities at the London Wine and Food Show. You guys know I always find the best photo ops for us. You know what I mean? So make sure you guys um, check out my Instagram, AKA HBIC, to get an update on those photos, honey, because I took some cute photos. And yeah, make sure you like this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.